time of year I get a lot of questions. Phil, is the grass dead? And the answer is no, it just went dormant. This process all started last fall in October. Um, one of the ways the plant goes dormant is it tries to get some of the water out of its leaves because water in the plants can freeze like it freezes in your pipes and it can kill the plant. So the plant dehydrates and then depending on the winter, it will have two different colors. If we have a winter like this, where we had a lot of uh, snowfall, maybe the grass is a little bit more green color because the snow actually protects it. It insulates it from the really cold temperatures, but it also insulates it from the sun. The sun actually comes and it bleaches out all the leaves, just like a, the, the sun would bleach paint off the side of a building. Then you have years where it's wide open, where you have desiccation, it's windy, there's not a lot of snow cover, there's not much precip precipitation. And in that case, the leaves can die back all the way to the crown, the growing point of the plant. And so in years where we get a fair amount of snow, once the warm weather resumes, the grass leaves can kind of just start to resume normal growth. In those drier years, like in 2014, it takes a little bit longer for that grass to come out of dormancy because it's got to regrow all those leaves that were killed during the desiccation. It's important to know though that our grass when it looks like this is in the same state that it would be in the summer if you had drought. You wouldn't want to go out and start uh, beating it up with aeration and cultivation and a lot of traffic in the middle of a drought in summer. But a lot of people will run out to golf courses or they'll go to their lawn and they'll start cultivating it in the end of winter when it's equally as stressed out. So if we're thinking about you know managing our grass as it's starting to break dormancy, all we can really do is be patient, make sure we have heat and moisture, which Mother Nature is gonna give us. And when that happens, the grass will resume when it's ready to resume growth. So there's not a lot we wanna to do to push that along. So what should we be doing this time of year? One thing is just to go out, pick out extra debris. If you have pets, any pet waste, remove that so it's not going to be washed into the, into the street or into a river during a rainfall event. And uh, make sure your mower is ready. Is it sharp? If you change the oil, if you change the filter, I know I have to do it this year. So make sure we have those things ready. When the grass starts to then resume growth, get some mowings on it. And then once it's green and growing, we can start to do things like dethatching or aeration. And, and we can put our kids back on the lawn so that uh, it is ready to handle that extra wear. So that's kind of the life cycle of, of what the grass is doing over the course of the winter in Nebraska.